I'm so excited to share with you thyroid pattern number 24, the culmination of our series on thyroid hormone patterns. And this one involves a big word called homocysteine, but it's simply a amino acid that's naturally present in our blood. But when it becomes elevated, it causes problems. It creates inflammatory stress for our brain, for our heart, and at the cellular level, and even inside the cell, at the nucleus of the cell, where it interferes with protein expression that increases metabolic rate. So our thyroid hormone can't work right in the very center or nucleus of our cell when we have elevated homocysteine levels. And we can have elevated homocysteine levels because we're not getting enough of the right form of B vitamins or we're doing something that's depleting our B vitamins such as taking oral contraceptives or certain other medications or antacids or we have a hidden infection like H. pylori which is going to one use up those methyl groups and deplete stomach acid so we don't absorb our vitamins nearly as well as we should those are the kinds of things that are going to impact it. Also the common genetic mutation called MTHFR MTHFR can interfere with our ability to make and break down um, neurotransmitters, make and break down hormones to detoxify properly and protect our uh, DNA because the making of the active forms of folic acid to get in the cell called methylfolate that process is, is inhibited and that lets homocysteine elevate many times. So MTHFR can be a contributor to having high homocysteine and something that's very very important to ha have monitored is your homocysteine. So many people with thyroid function getting it looked at are not getting homocysteine monitored and if you and it's not going to get paid for a lot of times by insurance companies because there has to be a medical necessity but it's clinically necessary and using our lab co-op it's like a $25 test so it's really easy to get done and I have mine drawn twice a year so that I can see where my homocysteine levels are because I have the MTHFR gene mutation. So this is our final cause of thyroid symptoms and another one of those where we could have perfectly normal labs as far as our thyroid is concerned but we still have thyroid symptoms and that's what is so frustrating for people and just causes you know the increased weight gain and the sluggish feeling and the hair falling out and the constipation and the cold sensitivity and all those common thyroid symptoms and we become so frustrated because we go to the physician and say well your lab work is normal but you've got all these symptoms well high homocysteine or elevated homocysteine can be one of those causes and you absolutely need to have that checked along with your thyroid i'm dr michael winters winters wellness chiropractic redefined be sure and share this thyroid series with your friends so that they can dig into what may be behind their thyroid issues. This will be in a playlist and you can share the playlist. Also subscribe to us here on YouTube so that you can get updates of our videos and like us on Facebook and we have a Hashimoto's or autoimmune thyroid group on uh, Facebook associated with our page Winter's Wellness Center. We also have a drug the support for autoimmunity page and a page sick and tired to fit and fabulous where we also share information like this so go to our winners wellness center page on facebook and click groups to get in those groups i'm dr michael winners winners wellness chiropractic redefined